Hello artists, today we're going to learn how to make a box brooch inspired by Viking art. You will have a sizable chunk of clay because we have to have room on the inside for it to actually hold things. So your first job is to take your clay and we need to reshape it. Most of these boxes were round. So first I'm going to use the weight of this to help flatten the top and the bottom a little bit. So I just tap it gently on the cloth and then we're going to take it, kind of roll it on the cloth. And we'll have to repeat this process a few times. And when we're tapping, we're not trying to flatten this out. We want this to have a good thickness to it, a good height. That way it's capable of holding things on the inside. Now you're going to look and find your really big cracks. You're going to smooth them out. If you have small cracks, that's where we can get out the squirt bottle and lightly mist it using our trusty clay squirt bottles, not the table squirt bottles. All right, you're going to look at your clay and see which side is the prettiest, and that will be the top. And that's where you will bring this to me very carefully. And I will use my clay wire, and I'm going to cut a lid for you. And at this point, that's where you also get a piece of plastic and a lid goes on the plastic. And I was sure when I picked it up, I picked it up, set it straight down so we know what direction it goes on since this is a round object. Our next task involves getting a pencil and you're going to use your pinky as a guide. I'm laying my pinky on the edge of the pot and making some marks. This way the walls of your box will be pinky thickness. And I'm going to connect these. Yes, your pencil will get dirty. It's okay. Then everybody will be armed with one of my wire loop tools. You're going to take the flat end and we're putting this in and you're carving it out layer by layer. When you're carving out the pieces, you need to keep them together. These pieces we're taking out are what will be the decorative part of your box. If you have anything sticking up or if it has little handles. And do not think you can take this, shove it down to the bottom and get the job done faster. It has to be carved out in layers. Now, students often ask, how far down do I go? When you think you're getting pretty deep, that's where you may want to hold this in your hand because that'll let you feel how deep you're carving. And if you can put your hand on the bottom and wiggle your fingers and see a lot of movement, that's usually a bad sign. We don't want your bottom to be that thin. We also don't want it to be too thick because then it's more likely to explode in a kiln and you'll have less room in your box. All right, I know the inside is a little sketchy. It's a little rough. We will fix that the next time we have class. So at the moment, you're going to put your lid back on your box, straight up, straight on, so we don't get confused. Extras should all be squished together. Turn it over. This is where you write your name your extras and your box are all going to come see me and then i will help wrap them up for you 